today I present to you another American clock from the late 1800s or the early 1900s. This time it is a WML Gilbert kitchen clock. Very beautiful attention to detail on the woodworking for the case. Very nice carvings up and down. Then there's some more carvings as we move down. Very nice, very nice carvings. And the glass has images of birds and flowers on them. I love birds. I believe the birds are blue herons, but I'm not entirely sure. It's what they look close to. It's what my mom thought. The movement is that of a 30 hour one. You will see it very soon. This clock costed $30 from our local clock shop, which is a steal. They had quite a bit of extra clocks in inventory and they simply don't have the time to get to fixing all of them. So they were selling these off with no guarantee and I'm going to do a hefty amount of chores for my mother to pay for this. I didn't buy this with my own money, but I'm putting work back into it just to be real with you. The pendulum also has very nice detailing on it. Not sure if it's the original, but nonetheless, it still looks good with the rest of the clock. It strikes on a bell, so I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Only chimes on the hour. It's a very loud ticker. The face is held in by two flathead screws and nothing more. That is a very, very loud bell. It's probably distorted over the phone microphone, but let me try and shut the door. It dampens it quite a bit. This is the second clock I own that strikes the hour on a bell. The other clock I own which strikes on a bell is this AMS. However, the Gilbert is much older than this AMS. There it is back on time now. And now I'll show you the back and the inside. Here is the back of the kitchen clock. As you can see, the label, the original label, is still intact. Manufactured by W.M. Gilbert Clock Company, Winstead, Connecticut. Here's your look at the inside of the clock. It is a 30 hour movement with count wheel striking. That is a very loud bell. There you can see the escapement. And there is the bell. There's a lot of torque on the 30 hour movements. This is fully wound. There's the pendulum. Let me shut the clock door so you can see it without the face on. Very small clockwork. Very clean movement. Before you might ask, don't worry, the Ingram Adamantine mantle clock is safe. It's just below all these. I also still have the W. Hay tradition, but it's just out of sight because it's broken. Anyway though, I hope you enjoyed the new WML Gilbert kitchen clock. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.